Hey there, Sigur Snacks. Welcome back to Vorpal Tales Presents Tales from the Toy Box. As always, I am your host, coming live to you from an undisclosed location in the woods, Space Lord Pajamas. We are Vorpal Tales, and we play awesome adventures and terrifying tales many days of the week. Be sure to check the calendar at vorpaltales.com to stay up to date for all of our shows. For those of you following along at home, tonight's awesome adventure is Defenders of Tomorrow. Seven sentient saviors, saviors must die. You can only save the past by defending the future. Using Green Ronin's Publishing's Mutants and Masterminds 3rd Edition, find them at greenronin.com. Remember to follow Vorpal Tales on Twitch and visit our website for the link to join our Discord. We're on most, mo most major social medias, including YouTube at Vorpal Tales. Rem rem remember to follow, subscribe, and hit the bell to get all the updates. Most importantly, subscribe to our Patreon at patreon.com slash Tales. Coming to Patreon will get you access to exclusive content such as premium shows, interaction with the cast and crew, and other really awesome delights. Become a Patreon today at patreon.com slash Tales. Let's introduce our intrepid adventurers, Steve, Sarah, Moon, Dave. How y'all doing on Awesome Sauces? Who Tell us who you are and what you'll be playing tonight. Uh, hello, my name is Steve. You can find me on the internet at Voodoo Arcade. My pronouns are he, him. Uh, and tonight I am playing... Oh boy, I had like five different ideas earlier today. Um, it's Gary Gygax. It just roll a d20. <laughs> um, I think I have settled on um, a kind of soldier-esque character with bloodhound tracking capabilities with a dog head. His name is Bloodhound. <laughs> yes. I don't know. I, I don't know why that just like that whole so that whole like um description just really tickled me because um hi I'm Sarah. You can find me at Salubri MD, much like a medical doctor on uh, any social media platform of your of your choosing. And tonight I'm playing a psychic, uh, buff, debuff, telekinetic uh, young lady uh, who does all of this by growing various fruits and herbs and vegetables out of her head and either feeding them to her allies or hitting her enemies in the head with them. Um, and her public name is Dr. Sarah Tonin, but uh, to all of you, she'll be known as Discordia. Uh, hello, I'm uh, Calvin Khalil. Uh, I'll be playing Starless Swan, uh, a multi-dimensional soldier that was able to um, collect all their alternate selves into one being. Oh, and you can find me on Twitter at at Khalil and uh, on the Storyteller's Goal. Cool. Uh, hello everyone, I am Dave, aka Twin Dead Tweets on the Bird app, and tonight I am playing Mutants and Masterminds. Oh, my character, yes. Uh, so I am playing a, uh, I guess, like, sort of stereotypical brick-slash-powerhouse character tonight. Um, you guys will see, he's, he's got the eye beams he's got the flight, he's got the, sh he's strong. But not super, not like super super strong just strong so he's like mm, above average man yeah he's like he's above average man in a couple of categories right he's, now he's uh, welcome to, he's welcome to the middle man he's he's still <laughs> he's still a he's still a, a baby remember <clears throat> he's a baby not, not quite super so what's less than super uh meta meta man met, meta man there you go all right <laughs> all right he's he's meteor man okay meteor man there you go all right so this episode is brought to you by large marge's donut barn even oblivion we're still making the donuts you love large marge's donut barn where it doesn't equals 14 additionally vorpal tells us some great sponsors we'd love to tell you about first is q empire a small company making original dice and products for your favorite rpgs and card games dungeon crate is the original rpg loot box delivering tabletop gear like dice minis terrain and original adventures to your castle doors each month become a member and get your crate today use code warple tales dc at checkout and get five dollars off a new subscription next to tip point press known for their various reference cards but also for creating the humblewood 
and Hecna campaign settings. Also is Jim Hammer and Sons, an RPG supplement store that is everything from Decks of Wonder to Decks of Illusion to Dice. Visit VorperTales.com, click on our affiliate link, and anything you purchase, a portion of it will benefit the show. Finally is Norse Foundry, a new partner of ours. Tired of boring plastic dice? <coughs> Want to be more than a dice goblin? Well, now you can change that by picking up a set of Norse Foundry metal dice and roll with the authority of the God of Thunder. Use the code VORPLEDIE to get 10% off your entire purchase and let everything from your battle axe attack to your insanity roll be punctuated with a satisfactory thunk. And with the introduction out of the way, we can get to why everyone's here. Favorite on-again, off-again supervillain, go. On again, Ever? off again, super villain. Oh, yeah, just like your favorite one, like your, your go to. Oh, Jesus. Like, if someone were to ask you a question, what's your favorite on again, off again, super villain? What would be your answer? Thanos. Oh, okay. Why, why Thanos? Comic like, book. Comic book. Comic Thanos, book Thanos. Thanos? Okay. Right, Thanos. Got, got you. Okay. Okay. Cool. Um, I don't know. I just like him. Now, um, does he come with the Thanos copter or not? I mean, Yes. Okay. Thanos I mean. copter. I used to have a Heroclix mini <clears throat> of Thanos and the Thanos copter, and I got rid of it. I never knew that existed. That's awesome. Yeah. That's yeah. God. Wow. Okay. Um. Shit. Wow. <clears throat> Scared to answer. No, there's no, there's no bad answers, <laughs> except for Steve's. <laughs> um. <laughs> so. I guess mine is probably the Riddler. Um, okay. Not like, I actually like the most recent iteration of the Riddler, but um, I think my personal favorite is probably from the 90s Batman series um, when he was voiced by Robert England. Um, and the Wait, like, the Batman, the Batman, which one? I don't know. Batman the Humanity series? Uh, maybe. It may have been that. I was pretty little, and he scared me. But then as I got older, he just, like, made me horny. And that, and that's when I realized that I like boys. Oh, okay. With that out of the way. Uh, wow, that's, um, hmm. cool. Hey, man. All right. The, the more you get to know me, the, we, the less weird that is. Uh, so that was that was the Batman, which um, yeah, I remember that one. That one was I, I like that one. Moon, you got one. Uh, yes, uh, Apocalypse from the X Men. Oh, oh, it's a good one. Yeah, immortal shapeshifters. You can't go wrong. <clears throat> Any other reason than the shapeshifting, or same reason, surrogate. Oh, okay, got it. Wait. <laughs> <laughs> it made you realize that you like boys? Like, wh which part of that Sarah answer? Yes. I'll take her whole answer. Okay, cool. All right. Cool. Well, I mean, ma made me realize I like Apocalypse. <laughs> there you go. There. All right, Steve? Um, well, you said my answer's wrong, so... Um, I don't but know. we still uh, want to hear it. I'm going to go with Comic Lucifer. Comic Lucifer. Yeah. From, okay. From the Vertigo, DC, all that good stuff. He's right, he's right. There. Okay. Yeah. Cool. All right. I like it. All good answers, except for Steve's. Um, yeah. Cool. So uh, tonight, uh, we session zero our awesome tale for uh, Tales from the Toy Box Adventure with Mutants and Masterminds, published by Green Run and Publishing. Uh, the city of eternal grace of those who shall not kill us for they are our merciful saviors or the eternal city for everyone else home to billions after the great space-time collapse the seven saviors of sentient life were assembled by the famous infamous atomic hammering space lord pajamas they were the last incarnate of the awesomes the defenders of tomorrow if you will acquiring massive amounts of superhuman powers they beat back the weird that was devouring all of time and space However, with great power comes great accountability. Absolute power corrupts absolutely. Seeing themselves as god kings among all living and sentient beings, they declared themselves rulers of all existence and crashed all of time and space that had ever existed into a singularity and rebuilt existence as they saw fit. At the center of all, all of it lies the city eternal, 
the hub of the known universe, the center of the conquered 10,000 worlds, the nexus of the divine kingdoms of the seven sentient God King saviors. Wherever you may have come from, this is where you now reside. <clears throat> but before we get to that uh, right now, um, let's talk about uh, your heroes. Um, starting with uh, Dave. Yes. How did you get your powers? Was he born with it, or is it Maybelline? He was born with it. As oh. far, yeah. As far as he <clears throat> knows, ever since ever since he was a uh, a baby, according to his parents, he's always had this power. Always had these powers, especially uh, realized it when he started kind of just floating around his room at age five. Mm -hmm. Um, so yeah, just grew up with them. So as far as he knows, this, he was born with these powers. Now, did that happen before or after his father took him into the city to see a marching band? <laughs> uh, cool. All right. Um, and uh, do you have an alias or AKA secret identity? Do you want in my prime alias or do you want current like character as he's going to be played in this game? Uh, let's go with uh, his current character. Uh, his current he he was given the code name Supreme when he Supreme. joined the teenage hero team. Okay. Does he have a, like a, a um a non super persona like when he puts the glasses on or anything? I mean, he does have a secret identity. Um, okay. He doesn't like put glasses on or anything. Um, he goes by Alex Owens. Alex Owens. He All right. Just started taking dance classes. Um, and yeah, lives in Pittsburgh. Lives in Pittsburgh. Okay. I, I feel like that has Pittsburgh. a... Pittsburgh. Pittsburgh. And uh, what does your costume look like currently? I imagine it's white with, like, goldish yellow boots and trim. Mm-hmm. Um, and, like, a belt, like, kind of thing. A cape, because he hasn't watched The Incredibles yet. Okay. Um, for the no capes rule. <laughs> Got it. Um, so yes, wears a cape. Um, does have like a domino mask, matching the color of the costume. Um, but it doesn't have any kind of like big ass S on the chest or anything like that. Okay. Cool, cool. Um, what specifically are your powers? Well, he can fly. He's um, stronger than. He's like low level superhuman strength according to the book so you know he's super strong, strong super strong, tough stronger than an suv uh yes stronger than an suv okay um he doesn't seem to you know he's tested himself a little bit here and there and you know the team tested him uh he doesn't need to like eat or breathe or drink if he doesn't want to um he can what's the right word he can dampen the gravity effects of Earth on himself, allowing him to fly. Oh, okay. And he can absorb ambient radiation in the air to project beams of force or energy from his eyes. Dig it. Like it. Uh, <clears throat> on the day that the world ended, you were foiling the caper of a lifetime. Or perhaps you were on a caper of a lifetime um who was your arch villain that you were fighting uh well at that point it would have been the um united resistance fighters of america you were he was trying to were... put down uh these impudent upstarts who seek to threaten the unity that he had provided uh to the country So that sounds like you've um you've gone a little um you've gone a little uh, red sun or homelander at that point. Very much so. Okay, cool. Um, uh, what was their relationship to you exactly? Just uh, a resistance force that was. Yeah, I mean, you? I took I took the time and energy to provide 
the country. Me, not just me though. Me and my my followers, my associates, um, the time and energy to really provide for the country. Um, you know, everybody had a job. Everybody, you know, worked for the betterment of the country. And these upstarts felt that, you know, this was not, this was not what the populace deserves. That they deserve more freedom. But what, what did freedom actually achieve them in the past? Okay. <clears throat> what was their uh, master plan or caper to defeat you? They sought to eliminate my allies and then perhaps find a weakness. I don't know. I'm unaware of any weaknesses that I may have. Uh, they've also been able to replicate uh, the ability to give some of them powers. Okay. So, and we were fighting at that time, the day the world collapsed. And, uh, but you defeated them just before the world collapsed. Uh, how did you do that? Well, I couldn't be as powerful as I am. I can't be everywhere at once. Uh -huh. So I had to launch uh, several nuclear, small oh. tactical nuclear devices okay. upon so their you, uh, bases of operations. You uh, you decided to nuke the planet. Okay. Uh, cool. Um, good stuff there, Dave. Um, great hero that you've made. <laughs> um, when you saw all of time and space collapsing, what was your quip? More opportunities. <laughs> All right, and uh, in this brave new space-time existence, uh, what is a what is a goal for your your super? Um. Well, the weird thing is, is in this time and space, he is fifteen years old and has no actual knowledge of what he did as an adult. Um. So his goal right now is to uh, find his arch nemesis known as Death Scythe, who had uh, killed his other uh, members of his team, hero team. Uh, when he awoke after that battle, uh, his he found his entire team was slaughtered, but somehow he had survived. He don't know if Death Scythe took pity or exactly what happened. Um, right. So now he's just trying to figure out where he is and what has happened and seek out this arch nemesis to get the justice he feels is needed for his former companions all right cool uh steve how did uh, you get your powers um government experimentation government experimentation i dig it um do you have a secret identity or an alias uh my superhero name is bloodhound okay and my secret identity is del stevens del stevens all right cool 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 uh what does your costume look like a costume base all black all black but with like silver or gunmetal pieces scattered throughout in strategically awesome places. Okay. Um, muscles sculpted into the bodysuit. Okay. Okay. So, uh, like, he himself has no abs, but the suit has abs. Um, big <laughs> sculpted arms, all that good stuff. Okay. Um, pouches. <clears throat> Lots of pouches. Oh, fucking pouches. All right. Yes. So many pouches. And on the back is like a harness that he can put the gun I'm still building um, in the side over here. Okay. Um, uh, does the gun have a name? No, that would be weird. Oh, okay. Right. <laughs> um, uh, what are your powers specifically? Um, so he has very limited powers. Um, okay. He is based off of your characters that you know your blood, uh, your your blood sports, your dead your uh, dead shots, things like that. Um, however, 
Um, so, so, so he's got high skills. He's got a lot of advantages, you know, like defensive role, actor attack, defensive attack, improved aim, improved critical, ultimate effort aim, ambidextrous, precise attack, quick draw, improved initiative, and evasion. Okay. Um, but I did give him super smelling. Um, so he has, um, he has <clears throat> enhanced sense smell, mm -hmm. acute. Or, I'm sorry, accurate, acute, analytical, and tracking. Okay, cool, cool. So he tracks via smell. Now, you said he has a dog head, right? Correct. So the government experimentation was designed. They were basically trying to create a pack of super soldiers using the, the tracking senses of different animals. Um, and he was going to be um, sort of a dog-based soldier with the, the, the ability of a, of a bloodhound. Uh -huh. um but unfortunately it gave him the actual head of a dog okay um that's interesting uh <laughs> on the world on the day the world ended uh you were foiling foiling the caper of a lifetime uh who was your arch villain that you were fighting i was fighting my arch nemesis cattywampus okay what does cattywampus do what are their powers? Do they have a cat head? No, gosh, no. That would be that, that would, would be, be weird. weird. Okay, that would be weird. Okay. Um, no, no, no. They are, um, you know, street level generic comic book villain, criminal mastermind, um, probably head of a cat themed gang of some sort. Cat themed gang. That's not weird. No, no. Uh, no, it's not. No. Okay. That cool. makes sense. You do, know, he has do, a cat. he has a he has a cat. Like, so they're just know. like a they're just Caddy Wampus, the the mastermind criminal, no mm -hmm. powers whatsoever. No. Okay. Cool. Um, what's their specific relationship to? to you? Are they like literally like your arch villain? Like, were they a brother of some sort, or you know, do they have a secret connection to you? Um. <clears throat> Hmm. Oh, okay. Slight alteration. Slight uh -huh. alteration. Uh -huh. Um. Mm, no, I don't like that now. Now that I'm thinking about it. Jeez. Okay. Got it. Caddy Wampus is the disgraced former head of the um, uh, private a security firm that um, headed up my experimentation. And one of the first things I did after coming out of the experiments was um, find out that he was secretly funneling a lot of resources outside of the company to nefarious means and got him exiled. So now he's gone to a life of complete outright crime. Okay, cool. All right. Um... Instead of, you know, corporate crime. Got it. So they basically created you, is what you're saying. Kind of, yeah. Okay, cool. Got it. Um, what was their master plan or caper that they were they were conducting? Originally or or at the time of the at, at the, that you were like when you were chasing them down and you, you you thought you had them cornered, like what 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 were they doing? What were they up to? What were they doing? What were they up to? Yeah. Um They were trying to smuggle a large cache of Jaguar missiles into the city. I legit thought you were going to say a, smuggle in a large cache of Jaguars. <laughs> I, 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 yeah. I don't know. These are these are special special missiles that do okay. special things. <clears throat> Okay, cool. Um, what do the Jaguar missiles do in, specifically? They explode really big and cause Expl a lot of havoc and chaos. Really, and... really big. Okay. Yeah. Um, you defeated them. How? How did you defeat them? Power of violence. Power of violence. Okay. So it's a pretty, pretty strong power, that is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, a, I'm, a, I'm a soldier with a 
hound dog head and a gun. What do you think I did? <laughs> do you have a bite attack? I feel like you should have like a, a lockjaw bite attack. No, that would be weird. I don't oh. go around biting people. <laughs> well, I have to put a muzzle on him. <laughs> right? Wow. Okay. Um, when you saw all of time and space collapsing, what was your quip? That's weird. <laughs> In this brave new space-time existence, uh, what what's your goal? Figure out what the hell's going on. Okay. Cool, cool. <clears throat> uh, Sarah. Yes, space floor pajamas. How did you get your powers? So, uh, Dr. Serotonin is from a time not too, um, not too foreign from the current here and now. Mm -hmm. uh, she was a pharmaceutical, uh, or she was working um, in big pharma as a mm -hmm. you know, chemist. Uh, and she was specifically working in um, a field to cure or to find like to, to find a medicine that could cure things like PAD, uh, PTSD, um, things like that. Uh, and then in a freak lab accident, uh, she got the power to create these, you know, effects. Mm -hmm. uh, but she also uh, got the power to grow fruit out of her. So she had to start wearing ball caps and hats around because she would just like have like an apple fall out of her head sometimes. Okay. Or like if she was angry, like chili peppers, or if she was like blushing rose. Oh, so it's mood, mood related. Yeah. All right. Cool. Um, so she kept her identity a secret. Got it. Um, you said they were Dr. Serotonin. Um, do they have any other names? Uh, yeah, once she figured out what her power was, uh, mm -hmm. she uh, named herself Discordia. Discordia. You know, after the um, after the goddess who produced the golden apple. Oh, got it. All right. Um, what does their costume look like? Their costume? It's um, terrible. Uh, they made it uh, at home on their sewing machine. But um, I actually have a lovely picture of her. This is what she. This is what she looks like in her full costume. Um, but she wears like she wears like a cute little like um, like sequin like masquerade mask. Okay. Like she maybe like bought like the model for at like Michaels or something like that. <laughs> okay. Got it. Uh, okay. And uh, so your powers are um, you grow fruit based on your mood. Yeah. So let me pull up her, um, her powers and devices. So she can create <laughs> illusions. Mm -hmm. Um, and she usually, she can do this by, you know, she grows, a, she produces like a fruit or, um, like a flower and it gives off either like she can either feed it to someone or they smell the pheromone and mm -hmm. they trip balls. Um, she can also weaken their resolve, cause mental paralysis. Um, she has precognitive action, uh, and she can, um, she can give enhanced advantages as well to her allies. So okay. all again through, you know, here, eat this orange. Or uh, like she like takes like a cactus off of her head and throws it at one of her allies. And, you know, okay. they suddenly have super reflexes for the turn. All right, cool. Um, on the day the world ended, you were foiling the caper of a lifetime. Who was your arch villain that you were fighting? Um, Her boyfriend. Oh. Uh, in a similar uh, accident, because they were working in the lab together, he also got powers, but his powers were um, more uh, degenerative. So okay. he was 
so where she was able to create things and to like buff and debuff people, um, he was able to degenerate things. So he had like um, uh, an atrophic atrophy atrophy he could right. touch things and it would like decompose and that included organic like organic matter was his main thing and the day that they were and they'd all they'd been kind of dogging each other the whole time but they also were trying to keep their identities a secret from each other and so that sort of started causing a rift in their relationship Got and it. the day that they had their final like confrontation they realized who each other were oh got it so their relationship to to each other is um, ex friends from work. Yeah. Okay. Well, they were partners. Like ex they were right. dating. Got it. And then it was like, oh, I'm so breaking up with you after this. Oh, <laughs> that's breakup. Okay. Yeah. Good way to break up. All right. Um, what was their uh, master plan or caper of that that day? Uh, they had found a way to um, magnify their atrophy powers mm -hmm. onto a much larger scale. Oh. So instead of just like a touch, they had found a way to like send it through vibrations into the air to touch things. So she was finding a way to like, so she ended up like in this kind of like coup de gras because I imagine when the world ended, like this toll also kind of like knocked like her power back quite a bit. Mm -hmm. But in that fight, she was able to like raise up this like giant um like dome of like vegetation that mm -hmm. like capped the machine and Got was it. able to like buffer um the vibrations so that they would bounce back onto the machine and atrophy the machine got it and so that kind of took that obviously took a lot of power out of her so she isn't that she isn't that strong anymore but got it um, when you saw all the time and space collapsing, what was your quip? Did I really win? <laughs> In this brave space, new time, uh, new space time existence, what's the goal of your, your hero? Um, figure out where she is. Um, and did Thanatos follow her? Did he survive in the same way that she could have? All right. Yes. Cool. All right. Uh, Moon. <clears throat> How did you get your powers? Uh, I guess I'm a escaped soldier from another dimension. Mm -hmm. um, and uh, I guess some time dimensional supervillain was basically making copies of me. Uh, as an army, and so I was eliminating them. Okay. Hmm. Got it. Um, do you? What is your alias or uh, secret identity? Um, I don't really have one anymore because uh, each time I eliminated one of my copies, their kind of identity and powers merged with my own. So I'm not really quite sure who I was or the original person was anyway. So I okay. just go by Swan or Starless Swan. Starless Swan. What does your costume look like? Like a black spandex one piece. And I'm kind of like a pale white android looking kind of thing. All right. Uh, what are your powers? Um, well, I exist in like multiple dimensions at the same time. Mm -hmm. Um, so I can like, uh, collapse in my, on myself and like show people what's behind reality. They okay. Like that. <laughs> um, also I can, you know, blast them with dimensional beams, um, and call upon my, uh, dimensional duplicates to do that okay so i can kind of like shoot them repeatedly while i go around and do other things my duplicate shoots at them um also i can you know travel through space 
I can like fold reality in on itself and move. I can open portals between galaxies. Got it. All right, cool. Um, who is your arch villain? Um, boy, I don't know. I guess it's the, the thing beyond the stars. Uh, whatever thing it was. Beyond yeah, the stars. yeah. The thing that was you trying to raise an army of me. I'm not really quite sure what it was. I suspect some kind of time dimensional villain. Yeah. All right. Um, do you know what their relationship is to you? No, I'm not quite sure. Maybe they created me. I don't know. Uh, all I know is I destroyed the last version of me and that I ended up here in this weird city. Okay. <clears throat> you, uh, when you saw all of time and space collapsing, what was your quip? I hope that was the last one. <laughs> In this brave new time space existence, uh, what is the goal for your super? What? What is your goal? Um, singularity. All right, <clears throat> cool. So that is all of your powers and your heroes and uh, very nice work. I enjoy them all. Um, so yes, uh, you have all been uh, blipped into a new uh, realm of existence and you find yourself standing at the center of a large arena. Shouts and screams for death, blood and maiming cry out into the air either Above, in a shadowed skybox, seven heavenly figures look down upon you. Um, they put you here. Their nefarious schemes and their ancient good deed of saving all existence, now forgotten as they terrorize and bring all of existence to kneel before them. This is how they have chosen to occupy the masses this day, combat sports. The soil is soaked with the blood of the previous combatants. What terrible of fate awaits our awesomes in this broken existence called the Eternal City? Find out this issue. Supers, what do you do? But um, Yeah, what do you do? You're standing there in the center of the arena. Um, the crowds are chanting for your death. And um, what, uh, what do you do in that moment? Am I teen me or adult me? You are your current character as they are. Okay. Like power level eight. Uh, uh... Who are you guys? What's going on? His voice cracks because puberty. <laughs> he... I don't know. Who are you? And like, she's trying to like put her like a mask on, but it's like falling off. Like the little like elastic is broken. And then he, as he gets a look at Dr. Serotonin, he kind of blushes a little bit. <laughs> Like, yeah, she, ah. she's, she's freaking out, so she's, like, growing, like, oranges, and they're just kind of, like, dropping to the ground. Uh, ma Ma'am, there's oranges growing out of your head. And I yeah. point, as I look around, like, I, I think we should go. I think I have run. Where? Where's yeah. the exit? I look for an yeah. exit. It's like a, it's an arena, so circular... It's like yeah, I think like a gladiator, Coliseum. like a yeah. Coliseum, like, but like He-Man space, super sci-fi like based, um, there, there's just all kinds of creatures and beings around just shouting and screaming and, you know. <laughs> is there death. anything in the pit with us? Um, there is a strange force field across the way that, you know, holds um, your fate, so to speak, as you've, you've kind of seen this played out before. There's there's like that there's like that little area where the 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 gladiator combatants can kind of watch the show from down down at the floor level and so you've seen you saw you saw the previous group just get like torn apart by like giant mouths or something with with legs it was weird I, <laughs> I try to fly up in a way <clears throat> um 
you hit a barrier that keeps you fairly ah. close to the ground. And I just hit um, the ground. Like, I, I imagine my guy just bounces off it, and then I hit bounce. the ground. It's like, ah. <clears throat> yeah, so you're you're not restricted to flying itself, but you you don't have a lot of, of, of flight room. It keeps you pretty close to the ground. Okay. Uh, you are, like, noticeably young, right? Yeah, I mean, he's muscular, but yeah, he's definitely, like, baby face, like, you know. He looks like, he looks like his, you know, a kid in his mid-teens. He's 15. Okay, that's... So yeah, I'm not like, so, what, and he's not one of those teenagers that has, like, a full 5 o'clock shadow at 15. <laughs> Is this Tom <laughs> Holland's workout routine? Is that what we're looking at here? Yeah, you're looking that... at Tom Holland. Yeah, you're looking kind of like, okay. I guess, like that Tom Holland baby yeah. face-ish. Okay. All right, I'll, I'll walk over and put my hand down to, like, help lift you up to be like it was a good try son i'm, I'm surprised they thought of up <laughs> oh steve and the, is and it then, you yes, just I have a, a dog head right i have like, a dog head right oh, like, 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 a, like a like a like a bloodhound head basically but it's right? not like paws or anything no no, no 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 human, it's just down, the head. okay okay, you okay know, got it do you know boston beagle <laughs> just gonna do like a dog lip lick you know like nope never heard of him Come on, we got work to do. <clears throat> you can talk? Sarah's like, or sorry, Dr. Tonin is like staring at <laughs> Bloodhound like. You not? She throws an orange at your head. Like, oh my God. <laughs> I grab it with my mouth. Okay. <laughs> uh, it's. It's an orange. Um, I don't I, know if you'd want to bite down on it any uh, further, but. Well, I'll grab it in my mouth, drop, fetch later, and then I'll just <laughs> toss it down. And I pull the, I pull the hound gun out. The hound gun. Yes. The hound gun. Okay. Yeah. All right. <clears throat> um, so a s swan will create like a handful of like rainbow sparkled motes in her hand. Mm-hmm. And just kind of like blow them at the three other people here doghead orange lady and um super teen <laughs> uh, and they just kind of float around your heads okay now, but now you can speak to me mentally and to each other you. prepare to kill something i say in your minds uh, at, at that, the oranges stop growing and like thorns and vines start to. Um... Nice. <clears throat> and uh, when uh, Swan gives that 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 notion to you, uh, you see a signal given uh, from the skybox, and the force field across the way dissolves, and out thunders eight giant minotaur-like creatures with fluttering insect-like wings on their backs and giant crackling hammers gripped in their massive clawed hands. <clears throat> the crowd goes bananas as you are about to die. As a shiver of death runs down your spine, you think you see something glint in the blood-red sand at your feet. I wonder if they have a charge attack for D6 extra damage, I say as I look down. <laughs> Steve, Min you... Minotaurs, you say? Minotaurs with insect wings, clawed hands, and they're carrying lightning hammers. Damn, son. Okay. I'll just kind of look to everyone and be like, it's okay. I know these guys. We're fine. <laughs> okay. Do you? <laughs> and I'll, <laughs> I'll kind of go into a relaxed position. Woof. Woof, woof, woof. <laughs> <clears throat> okay. Um, I need you to make some sort of communication relationship role of some sort i could do uh persuasion <laughs> i don't know what skill I know. <laughs> that might apply that you might uh, have deception? or might not have at this point this, we can, place we can, is, this place is mixing traveler with dungeons and dragons we can we can just say it fails <laughs> um i'm not doing anything <laughs> Well, he does have a dog yeah, if you want uh, persuasion, maybe Steve. Persuasion. Okay. Well, uh, I think 
think you're you're muted. Me? Did I lose? Why is my speaker not working? Hold can on. you hear me? I can hear you. Uh, John cannot hear us. John's, John, can you hear me? Suck. Sean. Sean, you're the worst. Well, zooms Your hats are silly. Fresh and hard over here. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. I like his hats. Here we go. Okay. You can hear me now? I can. Yes. You are a great person. I love your hats and your cats. That That's what you say? No, that's what I'm telling you right now that you can hear me again. Oh. <laughs> no. <laughs> I definitely wasn't talking shit about your hats that whole time. When you okay. Hear me. All right. That, that's cool. Um, <laughs> I wrote a natural one. Okay. That's for, cool. For a total of mm -hmm. seven. Seven. Okay. Cool. Um, hmm. What's your toughness? My base toughness is a six. Okay. <clears throat> you might want to roll that and roll high. Hmm. Is that right? Yeah. Well, why don't I keep grabbing this guy? Did not roll high. No. Uh, that's a 13 total. That's a 13 total. Um, okay. Okay. Um, you, uh, <laughs> you take a pip. You are stunned as this thing just, like, they all, you wolf at them and a couple more times, they all kind of look at each other and one just is like, nah, nah, dog, this is not how this works. And just comes up and, like, they're, hammer comes crashing down into the ground uh, next to you and you just this thunder and lightning sparkles from it um, shoots right out at you and just sends you flying to the back of the arena. Flying to the back, smashing into the wall. <laughs> that sounds yeah. about right. Yeah, yeah. Um, yeah. Um, so yeah, they're, they're, which then like the sand burst up and then you see like this, this little glint in the air that falls back to the ground. Um, uh, who would like to attempt something next? Um, can I attempt mental paralysis? Uh, yes, against all of them or against just one of them? Uh, I'll do whatever's closest to us right now. Uh, the one that attacked uh, Bloodhound is, is the closest to you currently. Okay, so it says resisted by will, so. All right. Yellow flag. Give me one second here. So I'm going to use my cute pan pride flag dice. Let's get oh, it. Oh, nice. Um, let's say that's a 13. All right. So do I have to, so I roll into that? Uh, you, your power is an attacking power. Otherwise it usually has like a DC that they need, need to save against. Um, it says six. How many ranks is it? Um, I don't know. Here, um, I don't know how to test. I don't know how to like see that or show that or read that. I just copied it from the book. Uh, it's cumulative affection six resisted by will. That's all I got. How many? Do you know how many ranks you have in it? I assume I just have one rank. Uh, what you shared is locked. That should be like DC 16 at least, though. Even yeah, at okay. least. Uh, I think I said they rolled a 13, so they failed um, by one step. So uh, what um, what's the what happens to them when what's they the fail? First condition. Uh, the first condition is dazed. Dazed. All right. Cool. Yeah. So, so he is now dazed. Yeah, so she like, so like when, uh, so I guess she goes specifically after the one that um, slapped, um, sorry, is it Bloodhound? Yeah. Okay. So whoever slapped Bloodhound, she like frizzes up her hair and gets like, it first it looks like dandruff, but then it starts to like glow like pollen yellow. And she goes, and like a fog of it blasts in their face. 
it, it's just kind of like, and you see like its wings are buzzing erratically and just like, it's just, and it's just stuck trying to get the stuff out of its face. <clears throat> uh, David Moon, who wants to go next? Um, so there, the, the, the teenager who could like fly, you seem buff? Yes. Okay. So um, I'll, I'll say good work, dandruff woman. To the to the plant lady, uh, and uh, I say, young man, get ready. Uh, I teleport behind the uh, dazed uh, minotaur. Mm -hmm. I kind of like fracture into pieces and then reappear behind him, and I grab the air behind him, and I rip open a portal to its space. It's space, it's space warp. It's a six foot wide portal uh -huh. into uh, I don't know someplace in open space. Okay. Uh, and I open it up right behind. Okay. <clears throat> uh, and anyone who steps through or is pushed through the portal will end up in space. Got it. <clears throat> Dave. Yeah. So I, I will, a... yeah, I will, when I see that, I just kind of like take a flying leap punch, like Superman punch position. Mm -hmm. And just like leap at this guy and just try to punch him backwards into the, into the opening, into space. All right. Uh, <clears throat> give me uh, a strength check. Okay. Uh, a twenty. Nat twenty or just total? No, uh, twelve with an eight for my strength. Okay, cool. Um, you managed to knock him back into it, but they grab their hands against the side of the portal and are starting to pull themselves uh, out of it. <clears throat> All right. If I can, like, I guess my next thing would be on whenever, like, next turn, depending on what happens, would be to, like, use my eye beams to kind of force him back in. Okay, cool. Uh, Steve, you bloodhound got knocked the fuck out. Um, Correct. I'm stunned. You were stunned. Roll to become unstunned? Or do you just become unstunned? I can't remember. Um... Rolling to become unstunned. That sounds like Savage Worlds. I believe in Mutants Mastermind, you just spin the round becoming unstunned. That is true. You're correct. I think. You remove damage conditions like once every minute, I think. I mean, I think once you're stunned, you're pretty well out. But I haven't played this in a long nah, time. No, there's a... Um... Oh, there's a um... Where is that? Yeah, stun usually lasts a certain number of rounds. Uh, yeah, you're on. It only lasts one round, uh, Steve. So you're unstunned, and you get you you get like a half action, let's say. <clears throat> um. Uh, uh, bullshit. Um and. Uh, I will get up, and is there anywhere to take cover, like on a column or? Yeah, there's a, a couple body? of like just random columns of concrete in here, just okay. to create as weird obstacles. So yeah, you can take cover. Then I will take cover. All right, <clears throat> Sarah. Hi. It's your um, turn. I just want to do it again on another sucker. Okay. Cool. Uh, so same thing. Um. Resisted by Will. Uh, I think it was right. sixteen. Um, they succeed, but they're sort of like they're they're that another one is just kind of like trying to get it. It, but they don't get to do anything that round. They're just kind of like ah, they're, they're coughing coughing it out. Right. Um, but they just glare at you and coming at you. It's uh, your mental paralysis is level six. That's what it says. With, with oh, so it's DC twenty one. Oh. oh Jesus! <laughs> okay. Uh, yeah, they still made it at a twenty-one. So. Okay. All right. Cool. Um. And it's cumulative, so the more you use it on the same person, the nastier it gets. Oh. Yeah. Okay. Yep. Um. Boom! Your turn. Uh. So is this guy in or out of the portal? Or he's the portal? he's he he's at the portal. He's got his hands gripped on the side of the portal. 
Um, he's sort of resisting going in, um, but he's at uh, he's kind of at a disadvantage at the moment. Um. Okay, so I'll. Hmm. I guess I will um, try to persuade him to let go. Oh, okay. <laughs> so I'll come around the side of the portal. Um, and say, and basically tell him, um, you know, let go or I'll cut you in half. Oh, shit. <laughs> and um, I'll slowly let the portal like shrink. Oh, nice. Um, Will check, I imagine. Uh, I don't know. I, I can make a persuasion roll. I have no idea. Uh, yeah, get, make a persuasion roll. Okay. Does he find um, androgynous extra dimensional soldiers attractive? Uh, he is a minotaur with insect wings with so a blood rage. <laughs> so, so there's a chance. There, uh, yeah, there's a possible chance that this is something that he might be into. Um, well, say it's been a while for him, so you know at this point Oops, anything. That's goes. my kink. Okay, <laughs> then we can add plus five to this roll. Okay. <laughs> okay. Thirty-one. <laughs> Thirty-one. Uh, yeah, they failed. He's just kind of like he kind of like lets his um, uh, hands go off the thing, and is just got that like utters "Come here, baby" in in Minotaur. But then um, the 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 vacuum of space starts to suck him in, and you see him just start to float back. And he's like, "Oh shit, that was dumb." <clears throat> Look on his face. No. <laughs> I give him the hearts and then close the portal. That's my action. Okay, cool. Um, Dave. Yes. The one that you were trying to fight uh, is um, is gone. What do you do? I look around for the next one. Where's the one that knocked out that <coughs> that nice dog man? Uh, dazed. Uh, not r right next to you. No, where's the one that knocked? So the one, no, the one that knocked out the do nice dog man. Uh, yeah, that one's right next to you. He's, he's, okay. he's standing right there. Uh, I will. Let's see. What do I want to do? Uh, I will try to break his hammer using oh. my strength. Nice. All right. Hmm. <clears throat> okay. Um, give me a strength check. Right. Let's see if this die is any kinder to me now. Uh, 22. So 22. Two kinder. Nice. Um, you... He, it goes to swing at you, and you catch it in your hand, and it's that, like, there's that, like, drum beat moment in the soundtrack where it's just like, oh, shit, he did something awesome. And then you take it with your other hand, and then you just snap it immediately. And just the power of the, of the lightning uh, that's within it explodes everywhere and kind of sends that one uh, knocked back. And he he gets knocked back next to uh, where Bloodhound got knocked back to. <clears throat> All right. That's what <clears throat> I do. All right. Um cool and uh steve bloodhound's turn is that one like out of the fight out of the fight uh it, it's still dazed and like it just had its weapon broke and it's kind of like trying to figure out why there's butterflies in its face um <clears throat> it's so not I'm, out out but so i'm like you know up against a column got the hound gun out See this thing's weapon gets snapped and gets, you know, thrown back by uh, Dave's character. He's like, Dave's on to be like, <laughs> just, uh, I'll take a shot at him. Uh, see what happens. Okay, cool. See if I can get this roll correctly. Um, I have no idea if I'm filling this out correctly. Let's see. What? Uh, 
problem. What is, okay, so what does that roll say? Uh, over here in roll 20? Yeah. <clears throat> um, that is... That is a 24 with 14 damage. Is that right? Sure. I'm assuming you plugged everything in correctly. Yeah. All right. That hits them and they they're 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 kind of tough dudes and uh, they re they resist your your bullet. Wait, but you have piercing, right? I have piercing. But that would just go through um impervious. Yeah. Okay, cool. No, he just kind of it you hit like a deflective plate that's okay. on <clears throat> not the best aim. Oof. Okay. All right. All right. Right on. Uh, all right. Uh, Dr. Tonin. Okay. Um, I want to, I want to help now. Um, so I believe I can enhance advantage or enhance defense. So I think I can give that to one of my allies. Uh huh. Um, so I'm going to pick up one of those oranges to, um, I'm gonna pick up one of my oranges and like wipe it on my costume and I'm gonna toss it to Bloodhound uh, and say, you could use a pick me up. And I think when he eats this, um, he'll have a four to his dodge next time he gets attacked. Oh, cool. All right, nice. <clears throat> you, can add um, four. You, have, you have a four to your dodge there, uh, Steve. Um, Fucking dope. <laughs> Swan, what you uh, do? Swan had to step away. Oh, he did. I was looking at something else. Yeah, he. We will he go with uh. We will go with Dave. Dave, what's going on? What's uh? Right. What's Supreme doing? Uh, so Supreme has the broken pieces of hammer. Mm hmm So he'll do like a quick spinning whirl, and just hurl the hammer, bro the piece with the hammer head, mm -hmm. at another one of those Minotaur beings. All right, you'll. <clears throat> Roll me, roll me one of your attacks. <clears throat> Just like a... 24. 24, that definitely hits. Range combat. Um, and yeah, like they just get pelted with um, uh, weapon uh, debris. And um, they take a couple of, a couple of pips, of pips of damage. They're not looking so great. Um, cool. Uh, Bloodhounds. Me again? Yeah. Um, I. Uh, buh, 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 buh. I'm gonna uh, so this guy this thing like you know bounces off um my shot, mm -hmm. um so I'm going to like just do a bunch of obnoxious combat roll maneuvers repositioning to ultimately just <coughs> shoot and point and shoot again. Okay. But it's like super dope. It's like backhand sprints and like a forward somersault and then like a roll kind of like to the back and then back up to one knee position and then blam. Blam, got it. <clears throat> also, um, I realized that it was an error on my previous roll, but I did fix it. So. You did fix it? Okay. Yeah. All um, right, it's 16 to hit. Oh, with damage 19. Uh Okay. Yes, I had the AOE button checked, which was oh, damage. So. Got it. Yep. Um. Yeah. Uh. You. All, whatever you did with your duck dive dodging, rolling one knee. Mm -hmm, you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that worked. That. Uh, you. You plug it right in the head, and it just sort of like slumps down to the side, and <clears throat> it is no longer there. Um. Cool. Uh. Swan, we skipped you, so we'll let, we'll let you go now. What do you do? Um, all right, how many of these Minotaur things are left? <laughs> they are, there are, Sean can't count, six left. Six? Okay, well, that's problematic. Um, how's the 
dog man doing? He just killed one. Oh, okay. Well, great. All right. So everybody's great. All right. So I'll like fly up to right before where I saw the super team um, hit whatever was there. Mm hmm. Um, and I will, um, I guess, fracture apart and collapse into myself and show everybody what's behind reality. Okay. Uh, it's a uh, reality fracture. So everyone who can see me, except for, but I have selective. So right. I will not include um, my three friends in the arena, but everybody else who can see me has to make a, I think it's a dodge save against 18. Um, they did not make it. Oh, great. So now they have to make a um, toughness save against a DC 23, and it's just damage. Oh, wow. They are... Two of them succeed, four of them fail. Um, quite miserably. Hey, sweet. Oh, that one's actually... <clears throat> All right, cool. Um, Dr. Tonin. All right. Um, I'm stuck between helping some more or um, fucking some people up. Okay. Um, so there's six left. Um, is one of the ones that I um, hit with my pocket sand uh, or, you know, dandruff? Uh, are they still up No, there? Uh, those are all gone. Okay. Um, all right, so new target. Um, I'm this time going to break apart one of the oranges and uh, squeeze the juice into the eyes of one of the minotaurs to, okay. to uh, mental paralysis, paralyze them. Oh, shit. Okay. Um, is that still a will save against 21? Yeah. Um... Okay, actually, I have to do math here. Uh, okay. They failed by two steps. Hey! Right, so they are stunned. Paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed. Oh, paralyzed. <laughs> All right. Yeah, so she, like, she, like, runs up and, like, as she's, like, picking up one of the oranges, she, like, peels it apart mm -hmm. and she eats some of it because she's hungry and she has to stay hydrated on the on the move uh and she'll like, take the other half and like squeeze it in his eyes and it's just like he it's just it, it doesn't even know what to do it doesn't even know what a fucking orange is and suddenly it's got orange <laughs> juice in the sides explain uh, paralysis <laughs> uh supreme what do you what do you do we still have more dog people I will take the other piece of hammer and bovine uh, man. Bovine man. There you go. And use it like a baton and I will fly up and try to crack one under the jaw. Okay, so you crack that one under the jaw and for whatever strange reason the the cosmos are with you that day and it just you caught it 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 didn't see you coming somehow and you just crack and you hear that neck snap um and it falls limp there on the ground as it rolls a one. Thank you, Dice, for failing me. Um, I need everyone to give me toughness checks. <clears throat> Is it a damage under a four? A four or under? Um, no. Okay. Just checking. Uh, 22. 22? Like hiding from. <clears throat> I got a nat 20. Nice. Okay. So 28 total. Oh, you said toughness? Yeah. Uh, 10. 10. Okay. Um, cool. <coughs> um, Steve, did you? Oh, there it is. 14. Okay. Um, so 
one goes up to slam his hammer right into you, Supreme, mm -hmm. and their hammer shatters against your body um, as they roll the one. Um, Bloodhounds, you shot that one pretty proud of yourself, which causes you to sort of miss this one that came thundering up behind you and um, sends you flying again into um, the 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 wall again back into the same <laughs> back into the, the same wall. spot yeah um take another pip and uh, um ugh. um uh swan you get you get you the thunder crackling kind of, kind of like rockets over you um take a pip as well as well as um um uh, Dr. Tonin, the uh, the sort of shockwave from them hitting the ground with their, their hammer, you, you take a pip of uh, damage as well. Um, Bloodhound, you just got knocked the fuck back into the wall again. What do you do? I say again, this is bullshit. <laughs> um, I'm... Oh my god. Um there's still six of them. There are now five of them, but one is paralyzed. One is paralyzed. Okay. Mm -hmm. Then How, how silly can we get with this? I don't care. What do you want to do? Um, so I want to take... Uh, so he's, like, paralyzed. So I imagine he's just, like, you know, got his hammer kind of, like, up. And he's, like, you know, it, it's from the brain uh, fruit, right? Yes. Yeah. So he's kind of stuck in place. So I want to aim and I want to shoot the head of his hammer. Um, not to destroy it, but to make it swing backwards and hit one of his friends. Um, okay. Uh, roll me, roll me an attack. That's a natural 20 for a 32. Jesus nice. Christ. Um, Were you trying to hit the paralyzed one, or just any any of any of the ones? I want to specifically hit the hammer of the paralyzed one to uh -huh. spin him around, since he can't control himself. Yes. Spin him around so that he hits one of his active friends, who then like gets knocked in the face, who's already kind of beat up from what's been going on before, and just takes it squall in the in the maw, and just falls flat into the dust. Nice. <clears throat> Which again, wherever he's at, like something flips up in the air and falls back down into the ground. <clears throat> something flips in the air and falls into the ground. And you said yeah. something was in the sand earlier, which we yeah, all kind that of same ignored. thing. Interesting. <clears throat> okay, cool, 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 cool. Do I have a move by any chance? Uh, yeah, you can you can move. Can I run towards one of those things in the sand and do like a cool slide to pick it up? Yeah. Um, give me a perception check. Perception. Mm -hmm. um, okay. Uh, question. Yes. Um, I have super smelling, accurate, uh -huh. acute, analytical, and tracking. Yeah. So what do I know? But like it's analytical, right? Like so, what's it made of? Like what is it's, it? It was shiny when it flipped up in the gr into the air. That, um, that's vision. I don't do vision. I got. I know, but you saw that, so you think that it's sort of like metallic, possibly. Okay. So you you're, you're trying to sniff for like, um, like small traces of metal in in the dirt. Okay. Okay. Sweet. Sweet. All right. Um. Got a, I got a nine. You slide into the area, but and then you just kind of like thunk your 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 muzzle into the dirt, and it's just that moment of just like that sniffing and just like puffs of dust all around. I'm not um, used to this sand in this dirt. I've got a, I've got a. Yeah, it's yeah, yeah. it's it's unearthly. It's 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 otherworldly. Um, plus, there's a lot of blood in the sands. Um, I have bloodhounds. So that's perfect for me. True. Um, yeah. <laughs> Um, you're, you're just kind of like meat. 
Excuse me, snack? What? Um, Dr. Tonin. Hi. All right. That hurt. Um, she's like an old, she's like, she's like, you know, she's turning 30. So she like, has like, oh, and like, stretch, like cracks her back because she stands up and she got like knocked on her butt. Are you insinuating that 30 is old? She she didn't take her Advil for her back pain before. Oh my God. Oh, wow. wow. Oh, you know wow. what? Wow. I, I didn't take my Advil to run this game, so let me just reach. Oh, 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 man. Oh, oh make God. Sure to, oh. Make sure to include you. Oh, in the next oh, oh, reality I have to leave. Um, yeah. Oh, man. You know what? I probably should take four of these since I'm over 40. And, oh, there's only four left. <laughs> Holy shit. Okay. I'm sorry. Okay. <clears throat> um, yeah, so you're, you're, you're feeling 30 ish and old. Yeah. And, uh, yeah. Um, so I want to give some enhanced advantages to Supreme next. Okay. You're uh, close by. Yeah. So uh, at this point, she like kind of like pushes her hair back and um, like an apple like starts to grow from her head mm -hmm. and she grabs it and she's like, here, here. And she like jumps up into the air to give it to Supreme. Um, and he'll have a plus two to his attack. Oh, nice. All right, cool. Do I have to eat this? Yes. Uh, he asks. Eat your, <laughs> eat your fruits and veggies, this young just, man. This, this was growing out of your head. You're a, gro <laughs> you're a growing superhero. <clears throat> yeah, you did, did, did just get handed a hair apple, which is sus. It tastes like an apple. <clears throat> but you know what you're young which means that you know you're not you don't you're not really like you know you're you're a little more bit more susceptible you're not okay right? and he just downs the whole thing core and all <laughs> <laughs> she kind of like she kind of does like a uh, when he does that but uh swan oh. what you do um golly I will blast one. Okay. Um, yeah. So, yeah, I kind of like wave my hand at them and try to like scatter them into like, you know, pieces. Okay. What's like, the uh, save they got to make? They, well, I have to shoot them. Oh, right. So I've got to roll. Is there a way I can just click this to roll? Maybe I can click the skill. Here, I'm gonna click the skill. They should do it. Twenty. That hits. Okay, so it's a DC twenty-three toughness. Uh, they failed miserably, which means that um, they are ripped by reality into shreds of you and gore. Um, Supreme. Yes. There is one paralyzed, and there are two left. All right. Can we say one of the two left is like charging? Just for what oh, yeah. I want to do. Okay. So basically, as it's charging, I want to, like, fly up next to it and, like, lock horn, yeah, grab its horns with my hands and mm -hmm. kind of, like, you know, like cowboys will, like, you know, rodeo cowboys will, like, drag a bull down to the ground. Right. I kind of uh, want to do that thing. Give me a strength check. Uh, with the plus, what was it? A plus? Plus two. Two. We'll see if right. you can use that. Two. 28. 28. Um, yeah, it, you, you overpower it and drag it down into the ground and you're basically tussling with it at this point. <clears throat> that works uh, Bloodhound, you're sniffing into the ground. Give me another perception check. With all the bonuses of your sniffing that all it, it will allow. I'm muted. Um, why don't you tell doesn't just like give bonuses, it just... Gives you super senses. Uh, so we'll see. All right, let's take a look. Perception. Well, better. Well, more slightly better. Slightly better. Enough to, to accomplish the task <laughs> of finding a metal writing pen in the grass and in, in the dirt. Writing pen. Yeah. <clears throat> it sort like of seems the writing utensil, a pen. Yeah, it's a pen. It's a really, really nice pen. It's 
<laughs> it smells like it's been on Earth and elsewhere. You, you, you look at the side of it, and on the side, etched into it, Sir Bickerton Wright. <clears throat> Sir Bickerton Wright? Yes. You feel as though you want to keep this. As if it's special. As if it might contain three hero points for the entire group. I will keep this. I think it is important and special in some way. It may lead to a greater adventure. <laughs> this might hook us into some sort of nefarious plot line. However, Possible. can I stab someone with it? Uh, yeah, that sure. See, I was going to say squirt ink in their eye. <laughs> <clears throat> um, a base melee. That's a 29 to hit. That hits. My God, why am I only rolling high? I couldn't roll above a five for a perception. <laughs> okay. All right. So uh, <clears throat> how much damage does Sir Bickerton's pin do? Uh, a plus one to your strength. So four damage, so 19. Um, oh, there actually is a calculation for strength. Uh, yeah, damn it. Oh, so, yeah, 14 damage. Um, yeah. You like... No. No. No? No, damage Damage is whatever your modifier is plus 15 if it's only against one person. It's 10 if it's an AoE. Oh, got it. Um, so, yeah, you go to stab him, and you actually you, you unclick the pin as you go to stab him, so the actual, like, pointy piece just goes back into it, and <clears throat> it, it, it leaves, like, a, a sort of abrasion on them, but that's about it. <clears throat> kind of looks a, down at you. An abrasion. Yeah, growls. Sends you flying back into the wall. <laughs> Give me the a third th time. Just a fresh. third time. But this time you're like slightly off. So like you only half hit into your previous hole. <clears throat> Give me a toughness check. Toughness. Oh gosh. <laughs> Fucking hell. Um, I wrote a two for a total of eight. Um, wow. Uh, I'm, I'm, that's, that's bad. Well, yeah, even less because I've already got two damage. So what is like? Uh, that so that'd be six. Six. Um, so that's three steps. Oof. I'm out. Yeah, you're just knocked. The, you whap, so, knock the fuck out. So I get knocked back into the wall, and I can see that I'm slightly off center from the hole that I've hit twice already. Mm -hmm. And I'm just kind of like, oh, that's going to bother me even more than getting knocked out. Uh, and pass out. <laughs> right. Bad dogs can't take Advil. <laughs> <laughs> um, Dr. Tonin, it's your turn. All right. Um, so the one that just um, bullied a bloodhound again, mm -hmm. um, I would like to uh, spoon Okay. DC 21, BB. Um, they absolutely fail. What's the third level of... Uh... Par paralyzed. They're paralyzed as well? Okay, so there's actually two paralyzed ones on the field. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. Right. She, like, runs up and uh, she, like, reaches behind her ear and pulls out, like, a rose. Actually, no, she pulls out, like, a foxglove. And as she's running, she kind of like tickles it under his nose and then like, <laughs> uh, and as he's like, hey, get back here. He like stops like mid run and just kind of like er, falls over. Falls over, slumps on the ground. Nice. Yeah. Dig it. Um, cool. Uh, Swan, your turn. How many of them are left now? There are two that are paralyzed and one that's still kind of up in, in how close are the two that are paralyzed? Close, close-ish, close, close for whatever purposes that you desire. Okay, so I'll I'll teleport <laughs> next to them, mm -hmm. and I'll open up uh, a portal someplace unpleasant um, underneath them. Okay, um, they're they're gone. They are absolutely gone. Um, there's only one left. 
um, Supreme. Yeah. And we'll say that's one. That's the one that you have wrestled to the ground. Okay. Um, in locked in, not totally Mortal Kombat. <clears throat> All right, so since I've wrestled him to the ground, I'm going to just try to choke him out. Like, put him to sleep. Okay. Give me a, uh, a strength check. 20 total. 20. Um, they're not quite out, but they're still held within your grasp. Okay. Go to sleep. <clears throat> Bloodhound, you're out. Dr. Right. Tonin. Hi. <clears throat> you got uh, a. You got one of the minute. The last Minotaur is grappled. Um, Bloodhound is knocked the fuck out. What do you do? Um, I'm gonna go to Bloodhound. Mhm. Mm um, what would it take? I don't have. Um, I have an expertise in magic uh, treatment. Uh, that would work to have him not. Um. Treat what uh, what does it say specifically? Uh it just says treatment. I have an expertise in magic. Okay. I was just gonna, you know, like shove some fruit in his face and hope it could stabilize him. Uh you 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 do shove some some tr fruit in his mouth. Um he's not total dog, so it won't kill him. Um yeah. he stabilizes. I give him, I give him like some blueberries. There you go. <clears throat> Just a whole bushel of blueberries just shoved down his throat. Yeah. <clears throat> um, Swan, you got this one that's still grappled. What do you do? Um. Well, I'll talk to um, the kid grappling me. Okay. Do you, do you, want to, do you want me to take care of it? You got this covered? If you want to help, go ahead. <laughs> Um, okay. Um, sure, yeah, I'll, I'll try and just, like, erase it from reality. Okay. <clears throat> is he, is he, uh, I guess I have to roll the hit. I don't know if the... I think grapple affects that at all. 18? 18. Um... It, it, it takes a few more, like, it's still live, um... It, it it's rustling with uh, Supreme. Uh, Supreme, last last chance. What do you do? I will pick it. I basically will pick him up and then like brain buster him into the ground. Okay. Uh, what's the total damage on on your, uh, your attacks? Twenty-three. Uh, well, it's a twenty-three, but my damage effect is an eight, so it'd be a twenty-three to resist my the uh, damage effect. Takes another pip, um, and it's at this point that the crowd is half the crowd's cheering for you, half the crowd is like calling for just your instant death, um, and. Uh, you see one of the, the god kings stand up in their skybox and you see a flick of their hand in the force field that um, is surrounding the, the fight arena starts to glow red and you can see it starting to like uh, slowly inch its way towards the, um, uh, the middle of um, the arena and uh, Bloodhound you're like you're like you're on close to the edge there with Tonin and you you can feel like it you feel it braze your arm and it starts to burn and it, you immediately jerk away and start scrambling away from the uh, the closing uh, force field um, and it appears that um, they're not happy that you won they expected you to die <clears throat> you all are sort of in Supreme you just kind of like uh, the the Minotaur itself sort of like l goes limp in your arms as it realizes that it's going to die with you and kind of sad. It's like, aw. Um, and you're all sort of standing there in the middle um, as, as the red force field is closing in next to you. And that's when um, right there at the center of the, uh, the arena, the portal erupts and a hush falls over the crowd as they know not what to expect for 
this, this is a different wildly looking different portal from uh what um swan has been been calling forth um you look through sweat bleared eyes and see a figure standing there in tattered and patched space armor cattail swishes behind them tiger like ears flick in every direction picking up the very sounds of the now quiet arena there's a swelling triumphant soundtrack building as your heads as if there's put there magically for the moments space cat warrior looks up at the skybox one eyed scarred and covered with an eye patch the other glowing in an otherworldly purple hue god kings he bellows not today he raises his arm pointing the fist towards the skybox where the god kings reside a massive plasma blast ignites out of his armor uh space armor bracer rapidly firing into the skybox exploding it in marvelous fashion and exploding the force field around you saving you his gaze falls upon you now he gestures for the crackling swirling portal come with me if you want to save the world sounds good mister and I grab the Minotaur and drag him with drag him with me. Nice. You may have a hero point for that. And that's where we'll leave it till next awesome time. Uh very nice. Um actually Dave, you can have two. We'll say everybody gets a hero point for being uh most spectacular. Um very well done. And um yeah, so uh um your build is power level eight. Um so you succeeded at your task today and um uh yeah so you can may have um two two experience is that powerpoints those count as powerpoints yeah yeah yep <clears throat> cool, cool. Two PowerPoints. there you go uh you can spend those immediately or you can save them up to uh up another power um yeah cool as always, you can find us on the social meds at Vorpal Tales. Become a member of our Patreon at patreon.com <coughs> slash Vorpal Tales. We are Vorpal Tales, and we play awesome adventures and terrifying tales a lot during the week now. Uh, see our calendar that pops up in our show reels and on our website at VorpalTales.com and on our Twitch channel. Uh, be sure to check out the shop links on our website. Vorpal Tales has created several great supplements to enhance your games. There's more in the works for all the systems that we play to make your tabletop experience more Vorpally. Also, we have merch. Uh, Steve, do you have a coffee cup? I do. Do you? Does it yes. have our logo on it? No, it has a Manchester United logo on it. Oh, but do you feel like if it had a Vorpal Tales logo on it, that it would the coffee contained within would taste a thousand times better? Legally, no. No? Okay. Um, but, but promotionally, yes. Yes. All right. Cool. Yeah. So um, it's possible that if you had a coffee cup with our logo on it, the coffee might taste better. Who knows? You should buy one and find out. That would be awesome. Uh, I have been at Space Lord PJ. Check out my doodle website at cartoon.ninja. Uh, everyone, plug your plug holes. Let the viewers know what show they can catch you in next and any other cool online things that you're doing. Hello, everybody. My name is Steve. Um, my pronouns are he, him. I'm driving on the internet at Voodoo Arcade. Tonight, I played Del Stevens, otherwise known as Bloodhound. Um, you can find me next on Friday. We will be running Traveler. We are out of character creation. Um, and we're going to get into uh, the first uh, adventure. And hopefully that will go well. We got a lot of really cool uh, stuff. We got a ship. We got a ship with a cool ship name, the Stardust Gumbo. And uh, yeah, tune in. <laughs> Hi guys, uh, I am Salubri MD, and you can find me on social media of your choice under that name. Uh, tonight I played Dr. Sarah Tonin, the very old 30 year old uh, who Thank is you. going to feel that in the morning uh, and is probably going to feel it in all of her future games for as long as I'm alive. Um, and I guess next time you find me, I'll probably be playing this. Um, but then also in the not too distant future, I will be running a Dungeons and Dragons uh, game set in the homebrew magical world of Rune Terra. So feel free to stand by and you know figure out when that's gonna happen on a Monday in a couple in a couple months. So see you then. I'm uh, Calhoun Khalil. You can find me at, at kkhalil on um, Twitter. 
uh, and on the Storyteller's Vault, where I, you know, write role-playing games, mostly for Vampire the Masquerade and other things. And I was playing Starless Spawn, um, the extra-dimensional warrior and portal creator. Being a portal baby. And hello, everyone. I am Dave, aka Twin Dead Tweets, on the Bird app. Uh, tonight, I played Supreme, former member of the superhero team, the Teen Dreams, uh, now... Uh, lost in space, maybe? I don't... We're not quite sure yet. Alright. Well, Super Snacks, you don't have to go home, but you can't keep playing this game tonight. Uh, watch our Purple Tales crew next Wednesday night at 8pm for more Mutants and Masterminds action with Defenders of Tomorrow. Check out all our other shows, same Purple Time, same Purple Tales stream channel. Remember to always keep your capes freshly pressed, like you remember to smash that like and subscribe, and for the love of the dice, game on. <laughs>